imagine if you can add buttons on your video. The possibilities are endless. In fact, let me share with you a few. Let's say you're an affiliate marketer and visitors come to your website, play the video, and at that point where you want them to buy your product, you add a button overlay where they can click on it and it'll take them directly to the product page. Or you're an online course creator and you want your students that when they get to a specific point in the video, they can download some PDFs or even go to a specific website as they're learning. As you can see, these features are amazing. But that's not only that, you can also watermark your videos. But in this video, I'm specifically going to talk about this feature where you can add overlays. And by the way, you can add unlimited overlays throughout your whole video. But before we get started, I'd like to uh, remind you that Presto Player is going to be going up in price so i have a discount link in the video description below and i think it's the first of september if you buy it after the first of september the price is going to go even higher so make sure you take advantage of this this player is full of features so i can't wait to show you let's get started right now so the first thing you want to do is to install presto player so you want to come over here and go to plugins add new search for presto player and here it is. I'm going to click install now and then activate. Although we've installed Presto Player, this does not have the advanced features that we need for this tutorial. So I'm going to head over to the Presto Player website and download the pro version. So I've gone in and I've logged into my account. So here's the pro version. I'm going to click on Presto Player Pro. And this now has started to download. Next, I need to uh, look for my license key. So I'm going to come over here to my orders manage license and I'm going to copy my license key from here. Next, I'm going to come back over here to my site, add new plugin. So the plugin that we need to install now is the one that we've just downloaded. So here it is here in my downloads folder. So I'm just going to drag this over to the side, click on upload plugin, and I'm just going to drag and drop my plugin here. Click install now. Next, I'm going to hit activate. And now it's time to add my license key. So I'm going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to hit save. Okay, great. So my license key has been activated. The next step now is to build our page where we're going to have our player. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new page. We're going to give it a name. So let's just call this Presto Player. So for this design, I'm going to use the Divi Builder. But in your case, if you use Gutenberg, you can still use Gutenberg or any other page builder. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on use Divi Builder. So for this design, I'm just going to start from scratch. I'm going to add two equal columns. So in this column here, I'm going to add a text module and a call to action. So I'm just going to make this text here a heading. So I'm going to set this to a heading one and then just quickly customize this. So I'm going to start here with the heading, change my font. So the font I like using here is Poppins. There we go. I'm going to make this bold. But you don't really have to do what I'm doing here. This is just to make my main landing page really look nice. So I'm going to go with 36. And then for the paragraph, I'm going to click here on this uh, paintbrush icon. And I'm also going to change my text font here to Poppins as well. So I'm going to select it. Increase my size. Let's go with 18. And for my line height, there we go. So this is looking great. I'm going to save this now. And I may also want to add a video over here to the right. So let's go ahead and do that. So now, instead of uh, adding a short code, what I'm going to do is to just uh, add my Presto Player add-on. And this is for DV users, by the way, for Elementor. They also have an integration where you can add it as a module. But anyway, for this, uh, I can choose my video from here. So you can see here, I already have uh, my video. So I'm going to select it. And I'm going to show you in a moment how I added this video, by the way. So once I've done that, uh, I need to now go in and edit this video so we can add the features that we're talking about. So I'm going to click here on edit video. It's going to open this in a new tab. So all I have to do now is to click on this video and all my options are over here. So here is where the fun starts. So I can now add my overlay by clicking over here Add overlay. All right, so here's what we can do. We can decide when we want this button to show. So I'd rather have it, you know, right in the beginning. So the text can come over here. So I'm going to say, by Presto Player. So I'm going to start typing. So next, we are going to need a link. So I'm going to add my link over here. So I'm going to paste it. And I want this to open in a new tab. 
and I'm just going to commit to that. So now this is now linked. Now over here, we also have our positions. So right now it's on the top right. We can also set it to top left. But you know what? I'd rather have it on the top right. So on the text color here, you can also uh, add your uh, text color for your button. And over here, you can add a background color. So in my case, I like something that really jumps out. I really want this to catch the user's eye when they are using the sites. Now over here, we also have the opacity. So we can customize our opacity here. So I like leaving it at about 90. And then let me just continue on here. So we can remove this overlay at any time. Now we can also add another one. So let's say you want to have more than one. You can add another overlay and you can see here it's showing. But this time, let me just hit apply. But this time, maybe you want this to start at um, maybe five minutes. Okay, so now this is going to start at five minutes. And you can also specify when you want it to end. So um, this could be after 30 seconds. And again, here we have our text here, which says by Presto Player. But here you can change this to say by DV theme. So it's up to you what you want to add on these overlays. So let's say you want to delete any one of these. You can just go ahead and click here on delete. And then that removes that link. And you can also remove the overlay this way. Now, for this example, I'd like this overlay to stay uh, for about five minutes. So I'm just going to add five, zero, zero. So that means this overlay is going to be showing here for that duration, which is brilliant. So once you're done with this, all you have to do now is to hit save overlays, hit update. And then over here, you can see it says update overlays, and then it shows how many overlays you have. So in this case, I have one. So at any time, if you want to go in and update the overlay, you can just come over here and hit update. Okay, so there are also other features here that I really like, which is this uh, muted autoplay. So you can also do muted autoplay, and we can also um, add an overlay if you wanted to, but I'm just going to leave this for now. And... If you want to add this as a preset, you can also add this as a preset. But I'm just going to keep things simple here. Hit update. So now let's test and see if this is working. So I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. Save and exit. All right. So okay. let's say you have so a WordPress website running, running now, Elementor and, this, uh, and volume. you want you to here, change it into Divi. Button. How would you Waiting go about it? So in this video, clicks, I'm so going to be sharing. Let's see if this works. It's opening a new tab. And it's taken me now to this landing page for Presto Player. And by the way, this is true. This is a 10% off. And uh, if you use Mac 10, and this is a lifetime deal. So make sure you take advantage of this. And also, uh, if you add your email address here, I can also give you access to my Presto Player mini course. This course helps you get up and running really fast. So uh, once you buy Presto Player, just let me know and I'll give you access to the course. Okay, so let's talk about scenario is where we can use this overlay. So let's say you're an affiliate marketer, you can use this overlay, like in this example that I've shown you, where people can go to the video, click on it, and they can just go ahead and buy the product. So at any point in the video where you mention a product, so you can add your buttons on there, because as you can see, we can add as many overlays as we need to in this single video. Secondly, let's say you have uh, online courses, you can also specify at whatever point where you want people to download download certain assets or it may be any downloadables while the video is playing. So you can see how it makes things a lot easier. This is really, 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 really amazing. And this is a great update that Presto Player has done. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.